about the work you put in. I mean, it's 21 years in the game, man. You know, hard work, dedication. You know, it, there were times where I think I was like 14, 15 years old. I took eight months away from boxing because the number one thing I'm going to tell you if you're interested in getting into boxing, you need to understand that as an amateur, boxing doesn't have seasons. You don't have an on season and an off season. You're going to come to this gym each and every day and you're going to be dedicated. And when you don't show up and then you re-show up, coach is going to ask you, where have you been, boy? What you been up to? How come you weren't here? You know, you might have a good excuse like my grades were bad. Mama didn't let me do this. You know what I mean? She wanted me to do X, Y, and Z. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. At the end of the day, if you want to be a boxer, you have to dedicate yourself wholeheartedly. And I've done that for 21 years. And like I said, we are now bearing fruit as champion of the world today. And I always have told y'all for many years, I got to, oh, I'm not afraid to let it go. If you can beat me, beat me. Why? Why does Keith Thurman not care about getting beat? Because when I train, I train hard. When I step in that ring, I fight hard. I put my heart, my determination, my soul, I put everything on the line. If you a better man than me, congratulations, I'm going to shake your hand. You a better man than me. But I'm going to hold my chin up high because I still accomplish my dreams. And I'm not going to give up. Fighters are looked at, especially because of the way we get reported and, and the images and, the, and how we get looked at for our performances. When a fighter is undefeated, it's like the stock market. It looks like it, it's just going up. It's going up. As soon as he gets defeated, now you get to finally see his stock go down, right? But Muhammad Ali got beat. Many world champions and many legends, Sugar Ray Leonard got beat, you know? It's not about getting beat. It's not about, it's not about getting knocked down. It's about standing up again. It's about putting your reputation out there again after you get beat and showing the world, I did get beat, but I'm still here for a reason. And you're still gonna tune in because I got a lot more to give the sport of boxing. You know what I mean? I'm going to give my, the sport of boxing everything I have to give it for myself and for you until the day I retire. Keith, are we going to see the one time the power on Saturday night? Uh, I'm, I'm interested in the way that you want to win, basically. And just that box 12 round decision or, no, more conclusively, more climactically, a statement? We would love to make a statement. We're going to hit this boy to the chin. We're going to hit this boy to the body. We're going to see how he takes it, you know. Um, we hurt Sean Porter, but Sean Porter stayed up, you know. 27-0, 22 wins coming by way of knockout. Out of the five people that went 12 rounds with Keith Thurman, one was an eight-round fight. But out of everybody that went the distance with Keith one time Thurman, three of the five were knocked down. Only two have never been knocked down, and ironically enough, it all happened here. It all happened at the Barclays. Oh, y'all just y'all just got something in the air, the, the energy. Y'all help keep these boys on their feet. So yes, Keith Thurman, third time's a charm. I'm coming to put Danny Garcia down. And the winner, what should we, the press, and the fans be saying about the winner on Saturday night? That the winner is highly accomplished. He deserves all the respect in the Walter Waite division. There is more to give. There are more fighters to face. But right now, I believe that the winner separating himself holding two titles, no other champion will be holding two titles, deserves to be the man to beat, the man to watch, the man to see, the man to tune into after Saturday night.